the views right now are not inviting me to go out. Leave the rest like this. Strawberries? Yeah, this is not this. Yeah, that's what I said. Put more lady. At the grilling part. Ah, it's all. My other colleague went to check that out during lunch. I look like uh, something of a flashback from my teenage year. Greta! Hello and welcome back to new week, to my new vlog and I'm finally back to my regularly scheduled vlogs. And uh, today is Monday, it's Monday morning and uh, since it is Easter, Monday is off, so it was a longer weekend which was of course super super nice. And actually today we had a grilling day planned with Xava's parents and it's still gonna happen but outside is definitely, definitely not uh, grilling weather. So we will definitely be indoors and I don't even know if, to, if it will be a grill or just a normal like cooking evening, I guess we will see. But uh, since everyone is bringing something with them, I um, agreed to make a dessert. And this dessert has become easily my go-to for like parties or like bigger gatherings and it's super 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 delicious. So I will take you with me to prepare that dessert. Um, but first let me show you outside and... <laughs> Honestly, the views right now are not inviting me to go out at all, but it is what it is. It's our day off and of course we still want to enjoy it and have uh, uh, fun with family and spend a good time. So, of course, we will go, but yeah. Ooh, brother. Ooh. Yeah, it is completely <clears throat> rainy and as you can see, maybe from the moving plants here and there and the moving trees, there is very strong wind and it's also quite cold, it's like under 10 degrees, so definitely not grilling type of day. But we will make the most out of it and I will show you what we end up doing, because right now the plants are still unsure. I also just finished my stretching routine. In the new video that you saw from my favorites, I showed you the pliability app and I'm now doing mobility every morning once I wake up because it's, you know, really good exercise and since I am literally built like a brick and I'm so inflexible, I want to change that uh, because it's really good for injury preventions and, you know, your general health. But now, let's get on preparing the dessert because it's really, really yummy, really easy and uh, maybe you'll get inspired to prepare that one as well one day. Okay, so the first step will be to take these lady fingers and crush them into in this bag into like uh, smaller pieces uh, so that it's more edible. So let's do that. Normally the recipe says 250 grams, here's 350. I'm not gonna leave this, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be so accurate. And here they are all crumbled up and we are just gonna put this to the side because we will need that later on. The next step includes one kilo of um, cream cheese, some uh, buttermilk, powdered sugar and two lemons. And we are going to be mixing all of this together and uh, stirring thoroughly until it is one consistent mass. And when you squeeze lemons, then of course inevitably there will come some pieces of uh, lemon seeds and I just try to seed them out, but try to clean it out the best you can. And you have to end up with this consistent mass. As you saw, I took a mixer to blend it a little bit better. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put this to the side as well and move on to the next step. So for the next step, we will need 
one kilo of strawberries, 250 grams of blueberries, this is a bit too much, and mint. It says 10 grams mint, but I'm gonna use a little bit more. And actually, I don't know why it includes blueberries, because it just says leave blueberries whole and set aside, because this we will use for the topping. So let's set this aside. And we are going to roughly chop the mint and quarter, and of course wash the strawberries and prepare them. Xava is a better chopper than I am, then you will not see my beautifully manicured nails, you'll see his hands. Get some gardening tips also on the side now. If you cut it here, and leave the rest like this. These small ones start growing again. Where is the focus? No focus. Just make some quiet things. Just chop off the big ones. Battery just turned off, I'll repeat. If you cut here over the where the small uh, leaves come out, this will grow up again and you get a bigger plant. Okay, so the rest we can like keep here. All right, perfect. So we're gonna set the mint aside and now we are going to blend one quarter of the strawberries. So one quarter is a very rough estimation, but I think around this should be enough. The remainder of powdered sugar, so around like 20, 30, 20 grams. The last lemon, or actually the lemon juice. And then we are going to puree it into like a um, little mix and add it to the strawberries so it's a bit more sweet and uh, minty and nice. I discovered that we have a lemon. I think Sava enlightened me. Yeah, so now we are going to add all the mint to the strawberries and the puree that we just prepared and mix it all together and it will be delicious. So and now we are going to take the bowl that we are actually serving it in and we are going to create our layers. We start with some of the ladyfinger layer to layer the bottom here. Then we continue with the cheesecake uh, or the cheese mix mixture with a spoon you are just going to yeah, pour it a little bit. It turned out a little bit more liquid than it usually does, but I don't think that it makes a big difference. Actually it does, but of course when I film it for you guys then it's not the perfect one. Then we are going to take the strawberries. Yeah, this is not the... Yeah, that's what I said, put more lady. Yeah, I fucked up, but I cannot do anything. I don't have more Philadelphia or anything. Then it's not a layer, it's gonna be something else. So the dessert is ready and unfortunately I really messed up and uh, I shouldn't have used the mixer with the cream because it just turned out to be way too liquid and instead of having like really nice layers of strawberries and the cream and the lady fingers it all turned into one liquid mush and uh, yeah I got so angry I turned off the camera and I tried to save it by just mixing it instead of like leaving it kind of mushy. And I tried it and it definitely tastes different because the cream is supposed to be normally way creamier. And now I'm really, really angry at myself because I've done this recipe already multiple times and it's so easy and it's, yeah, actually very self-explanatory. There is nothing big to mess up, but somehow I still managed to do that. Um, I'm not the biggest uh, cook and I'm not the best, you know, yeah, 
best in the kitchen. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, yeah, if people don't like it, then well, what can I do? Now we have to get ready because we have to be there in like 10, 15 minutes. So um, yeah, I guess I will show you our impromptu rainy grilling and uh, what we have to eat. And yeah, see you later. I'm really like in a bad grumpy mood right now because this didn't go as planned at all. Preparazione. The grilling part. Hello, it is Wednesday and I totally forgot and uh, didn't film anything yesterday for you. But honestly, you didn't miss anything because yesterday was my first day back in the office and although it was a Tuesday, it really felt like the most typical Monday ever. I tried to make a smoothie in the morning and it went all wrong. My whole kitchen was full of liquids and berries and yeah, my morning didn't start very well. Then I was yeah all day in the office. I also got my lady days and I was not feeling great at all. I was cramping the whole day. And the only highlight from yesterday was actually going to yoga, but since I never film, you know, the yoga classes, uh, like I said, you didn't miss anything. But today is a new day, I am feeling better, and um, today, as you can see, I am working from home, and uh, it's already lunchtime. And uh, as per usual, I'm trying to get out on lunchtime and get myself moving. So I'm gonna take a longer break. I'm going to go to the post office because I have to send a package to my dad. And then I am going to quickly jump into the gym and just do a cardio session with some stretching. And uh, then I'll be back working. But the highlight of today is that I'm going to like a cool meetup that I've never been to before. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of the house, gonna get ready because right now I'm looking really crusty. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I will show you that a little later. Right now let's go and uh, get on to the errands. I have a meeting in one and a half hours, so I have to get be so I have to be back by then, which isn't manageable. I'm only doing 30 minute cardio. Uh, but yeah, still I have to rush a little bit. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm back from the gym and actually it's like five hours later and I've already worked. Uh, and uh, yeah, my work day is now over. And I thought I will show you a little bit of some things that changed in our apartment because last week um, I organized and I had a little bit of time since I wasn't filming or editing so I did that and uh, yeah there are a few small changes first of all you might remember this hanger and there used to be a plant here and it was a really cool backdrop but the fact was that my bags were just not functioning in the place that I showed you actually some weeks ago and I had to find a different solution so I ended up hanging them on these individual hangers and it looks a bit more messy but at the same time I think I can finally see all of the bags clearly they finally have a space and since I a lot of times get ready here as like the last step in front of my vanity the mirror is here um, it fits kind of perfectly and I'm really really happy with this and another big change is in the bathroom let me get to it and it is that Xava finally did our um, bathroom closet let me show you I guess it's easier so for the longest time actually for like a year there was nothing in here I guess I should take this away so it doesn't ruin the aesthetic now much better here is like the mirrored closet that Xava built with the LED stripes and in here 
I finally got to put away all our bathroom essentials and this one is my side so I have finally my creams and everything and finally like this here can be actually as like a decoration and it's not so cluttered and now the bathroom is finally done and we put this plant that was hanging in the, on the hanger before up here I bought some hooks and I just hooked the leaves all throughout here so now it's green and I think it fits really good on top of here and I am quite happy with our bathroom and uh, I love the lighting in our bathroom it's so good and now yeah with the mirror it's absolutely perfect but now I'm going to take a shower and get ready and once I'm ready and I'm looking better than I am now I will uh, tell you a little bit about the event that I'm going where it's happening and we will see um, how it goes I probably will not film it or most definitely will not film you know inside there because I want to be in the moment but I will share my thoughts and opinions etc so um, see you in a sec when I'm a bit more presentable okay I just parked outside of the location I am feeling and looking much cleaner and better I still have to get used to my short hair it's a bit unusual for me but today's event is um, organized by Deep Minds in Munich and uh, I found this event on Meetup and basically their whole thing in the group is that they meet together random people and discuss different deep topics and they have deep talks and I find that super fascinating because I've always loved deep talks and uh, discussions but you know sometimes it's not so easy to get into that but when everyone that in attends the event is into you know already this uh, topic or into this ex into this like deep talk uh, then it is easier to connect and I think it's a cool way to meet new people I have no idea what to expect and uh, who's gonna be there if it's even people my age or not like I said no idea but I just thought I will sign up try something different and I have absolutely nothing to lose and uh, I guess I will let you know after the event I am five minutes early which is perfectly on time in my world so I'm just gonna go in and uh, I'll give you an update afterwards and the topics that we talk about because again I have no idea what is happening see you later I feel like I have forgotten how to vlog because I promised to tell you yesterday about the event and I didn't but to my excuse um, it was such long and deep talk with a lot of people that I don't know or I didn't know anyone that at the end of the event I was so done and I just didn't have the mental capacity to talk anymore but it was really really nice and I absolutely enjoyed it it was very cool in my opinion to see people or meet people and hear the opinions that I would normally never hear and never meet there were people from a lot of different ages um, some were much older than me you know from different countries different parts of the world and uh, it was very fascinating like I said to hear their experiences and their points of view that I never even thought about and um, that's why I liked the idea of the club or of that meeting in general is that you can discuss topics that you uh, maybe don't normally discuss and you can discuss that with people that you normally don't meet and uh, we discussed uh, two topics uh, which was um, is it worth having children in today's society and uh, the second is like meaninglessness or basically the meaning of life and uh, yeah it was really cool to open up to talk to share and uh, if they are going to do any other events I will definitely do that um, I think when you, even when you discuss those topics with friends, most probably you are friends because you have similar points of view, you have similar, you know, backgrounds, or at least you're of similar age. So I feel like you don't get into such deep discussion as you normally would. And uh, this way, yeah, it was really cool. And, uh, oh, Soil, don't keep my camera here. Come on. Ah, Soil! Um, you will look much better, you look much prettier on camera than behind it. 
but uh, this morning started really early for me because uh, we drove yesterday Xava's car to the mechanics uh, because it has to yeah get a few things done and since he didn't have a car I drove him quickly to work luckily it is very close uh, but he starts already working at 7 so at 6.30 we already left the house normally at 6.30 I'm still in bed uh, but now yeah I'm back home I'm gonna prepare myself some breakfast which I normally don't have time to do and uh, Get ready to work because today is a normal office day for me. Mm, sorry. It is uh, Thursday after work and I just got home and I wanted to share with you a cool, let me come closer, a cool thing that was happening where I work, which is very unusual because I work literally in the middle of nowhere, there's only goats and cows, and cows everywhere, but uh, a colleague of mine told me that uh, there is uh, a warehouse or where I work there's a lot of warehouses, but one of the warehouses is from a brand um, which is called Beasties or Beast Boston. I have no idea. I'm not that clearly. I don't know the brand, uh, but she said that they are doing a really cool warehouse um, sale. And um, since it was literally like 10 minutes away from work, like 10 minute walk away, uh, me and my other colleague went to check that out during lunch. And we had a little bit of a longer break and it was so worth it it was super super cool i only filmed like really shortly as you can see now um, and yeah it was literally like in the middle of a warehouse uh, they also had a line of people and there were like some cool gen zers uh, coming from the city clearly to this thing so i guess it's a cool and hyped up brand again i have no clue but I did get me and Xava some cool things and I thought I would show you since it is kind of a highlight of today. So <clears throat> here is the bag and it looks much bigger than it actually is or I did go, you know, completely insane. But I found those items really, really interesting. So I bought them. But basically the brand is kind of streetwear, like sporty, cool vibes, skater vibes which is not 100% my style, but I do love some sporty items. And again, I found the sale really good. And for myself, I got this pink hoodie and it says uh, Beast Boston Beaston with Pantone. And uh, yeah, it kind of explains this is a Pantone color frosted peach. And I just really found the color good. And if you watched my last video, then you know that I'm trying to get more colorful things into my wardrobe and this fit perfectly and here on the side it also shows like the Pantone thing and I found that the color fits me really nicely and it's a hoodie good quality and it was only 20 euros so I kind of had to get it I love these kinds of hoodies for travel but also for lazy weekend days and you can style them quite cool even with a blazer to work so although I'm not like super duper sporty style anymore, I do appreciate a good hoodie. And this is, I think, actually men's in size M. But I like when the hoodies are slightly bigger and comfy and like oversized. So really cool. Let me try it on for you and let me show you how it fits. But here it is. Again, it's a hoodie. It's nothing, you know revolutionary but it is super comfy and cute and I like the color so that was for me and of course I as a good f girlfriend that I am I also wanted to get something for Xava and since he is more into earthy tones like the browns and deep greens and things like that I decided to buy him this hoodie also quite minimalistic just with the BSTN logo but it's not uh, you know super crazy and this one is in a size large and again the quality is really nice and I love this color as well 
and oh, I just see now that it also has the Pantone thing on the side and I think this will fit really nicely with a lot of his like cargo pants and more casual styles that he wears I think he likes this hopefully he will like it I will show you his reaction later on when I am home and this one was also 20 euros so I think you know it's a great deal for such a warm and cute hoodie um, then I also got for Xava a baseball cap um, it was only 5 euros and I know he doesn't wear like that many baseball caps anymore but he does have some in his collection and I think they fit him quite nicely I look like uh, something of a flashback from my teenage year when I tried to be cool but I like the combo of the blue and the like wine red or deep red so I found this nice and hopefully he will like it but even if not 5 euros I still find acceptable then I got for me this Cappy, which is also Pantone uh, sportswear staples and uh, yeah it has on the side here like a Pantone writing and again it's a very colorful summery cute color and I thought it would look really cool if I wear like I don't know basic jeans and a t-shirt and then this colorful hoodie I mean these two colors don't fit but otherwise I think it will look really cute and although I don't wear caps that often once in a while in the summer I think it is really cool and useful if I'm going on a hot girl walk or something like that and then something a bit crazy but this hat was only one euro it's from Piper um, yeah, Brixton company and I tried this on and I thought this looks so cool and uh, I don't know how often I will wear this I've always wanted to be a hat girl but in reality yeah I don't know how often I will wear it but the other one that Xava has is way too big for my head and this is actually a size small which fits perfectly for my tiny head and uh, I thought I will take it and try to maybe get a little bit out of my comfort zone style wise and uh, yeah I, since it is black I think it's not that crazy if you combine it with the right outfit of course with the hoodie it's not quite that um, and yeah that was like really cool lunch break really nice so unfortunately by the time you are watching this vlog the sale has already ended um, there it is still free tomorrow so I'm thinking to go after work again to actually like have more time to check it out do I need more clothes no but I can't you know miss out on a good deal and since during the lunch break we were kind of in a rush a little bit cats doing here okay I cannot like just ignore this the cats of course found the bag Krito. do you like it in the bag the other one was there some minutes ago I love it how they always find the bag but yeah maybe I will go there tomorrow again maybe not depends a little bit on my mood and how this would work um, but yeah, I find it cool. Please let me know if you know this brand or not because I've never heard of it before, but maybe it's just me. And uh, now I am going to probably edit this vlog. I have a few hours before I'm gonna go to aerial yoga. I will only show you the quick reaction of Xava and maybe I'll make him try on the hoodie for you to see. And uh, yeah, so let's cut to that, although it will be probably after my yoga because Xava always works really, really late. So see you later. Now that the weather is also warmer, I often leave the balcony door open and our cats love to go outside, especially Greta. She's uh, scratching herself against the glass, which looks really cute. But you may have noticed that our balcony is completely empty and that is on purpose. We actually sold our last balcony furniture because it just didn't fit into yeah, with the sizes and we ordered something new that I will show you in the next vlogs. Uh, but it hasn't arrived yet, so for now it's just empty space for the cats to play around. Sol, 
that immigrated from Spain later is always a bit hesitant. It's around like 14, 15 degrees, so it's not that warm for her yet. And she's more curious from the outside. But Greta is basically a German cat and she feels <laughs> really comfortable. And yeah, she has a weirdness attack going on right now. Greta! <laughs> Very cute. But she was uh, the one who used to lay a lot on our furniture and I think she's a bit confused where it's all gone. But don't worry, you'll get a new chill out lounge soon enough. And uh, we will also gonna be planting some um, gardening things here. So I've already took care of some and there is a little bit. Here is the strawberries, but this will be full of tomatoes. And yeah, there are still some empty ones that we haven't done anything with. But it should be happening soon and I'm also really happy that our little forest in front of the balcony is getting green again and soon you cannot see the street that much because it's gonna be totally full and I think in the summer it's just such a peaceful place here although we live on a quite noisy main street here um, later in the evening there's not that much traffic and then you have the garden and peaceful time but I'm gonna go inside to edit and you kitties can enjoy the out outdoor time. It's on! Okay, so I'm back from yoga having a quick dinner. But I wanted to give Mr. Xava his present that I showed you earlier. You have to act really surprised as if you Maybe. didn't see it already. Maybe I cannot... No one can see me. Yeah. Oh, so hello. Here it is. Wow! Bzzz. Here it says bzzz. <laughs> Does it fit you? What is bzzz? Oh, I have to try it on now. It has it. It's the earthy colors, and it fits with your cargo pants. That's why I chose this Ooh. hoodie. The bling. It's an L. L. Yeah. L, and then you wash it, and then it's an XS or what? Oh. Oh. And it fits. L. This doesn't feel like an L. It's an L. Maybe L in, in skinny, skinny people it's world. It's a Gen Z L. Yeah, Gen Z L. Pisten. Pisten copy. Oh, das steht mir nicht. Ja, doch. Like this? Well, this two doesn't fit together, but I like Already the this. color of this. Nice. Was haben wir noch? Ja. Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> Kaye! Zeig mal, wie steht's dir? Oh, dir steht's besser. I'm never worried. Aber ich, ich zieh's an. Danke. No, I got a different kind Thank of Thank you hat. very much. And this one fits me also better. No, that's mine. It's a girly color. I'm not sure if Xava was so happy with the presents. I am. Hoodie's nice. I like it. Thank you. And the cap is also nice. Mm -hmm. nicht, nicht schlecht, how we say in German. And uh, yeah, now it's time to go to bed, so see you tomorrow. No, basement. I didn't want to show them that. So. See you tomorrow. Basement. Hello, it is Friday and uh, it is lunchtime and I'm actually in the office today. But um, I'm meeting a friend for lunch nearby and it's a very rare occasion because usually I, uh, yeah, there is not much around where I work, but uh, she said that there's a really nice uh, hotel with a nice restaurant, 10 minute drive away. So we decided to meet up for lunch for once and uh, I th I'm really enjoying this break. It was exactly what I needed today. And uh, I'm a little bit early, so I'm just waiting here, enjoying the weather. We are outside on the terrace. The weather is absolutely beautiful. It's sunny, warm and yeah, lovely out here. So let's see what they have to eat and uh, I'm sure it will be a lovely break. Alrighty, so um, the lunch break was really nice and we got so into talking that I didn't really film much, but we had yeah, super nice conversation and I was really happy to see her one-on-one. -on -one. I have not met her 
like one on one before so it was really nice and uh, I love Fridays because they end early so it is you know um, a nice day and now since I don't have the rush I have time I am going to go again to the warehouse sale and check out some more stuff alone and with uh, yeah more privacy more time no rush it's Friday I have no plans today so I'm just gonna go and enjoy and see how it is um, I will not take you with me at least now and if I do buy something I will show it to you a little bit later on and uh, now I, for now I just want to actually enjoy the shopping experience so see you later okay it is again way way later and somehow Everything catched up to me and now I'm feeling super duper tired, but the shopping at the warehouse again was a success. I partly am really happy of course with what I got, but also partly I'm sad that I found more stuff because I spent more money, but I could not resist. So of course let me show you what I got. First I got this fluffy black hoodie thingy with a zipper that says the classy issue and uh, yeah it's, it's like really fluffy material very very soft very like fun and fuzzy and uh, I found like the classy issue super nice slogan and I think I will be wearing this a lot on my days off but also a lot with jeans and I think you can kind of dress it up and down I think you will be seeing me in this in the next vlogs for sure and this cost me 35 euros and there was for sure some mistake because it says that it's an extra small but it fits more like a medium and you know even on top of me it was not like tight or anything and I'm definitely not an extra small size person and then the second purchase I got were these green sweatpants yeah, quite basic sweatpants, but uh, I loved the color. Green is one of my favorite colors, and it's from the brand Le Boy Le Girls. Le Boys Le Girls. Um, I've heard of it before, but yeah, I've never like had anything from them. And uh, these fit me like a glove, and the cotton material is really nice, good quality. And again, like the eye catcher is definitely the color, and I think if you pair it with some like uh, whatever black or more understated hoodie it will look so good and uh, yeah I will be definitely looking more stylish now on my loungy lazy days I'm gonna have a snack clean and hopefully recover because now I'm definitely feeling that it is the end of the week and I'm a little bit exhausted so it is the evening I have Savondrikos here and <laughs> we are going to uh, Vestbad, which is like a swimming pool, right? Spa. How do you... No, spa is a big no, word for it. It's more like a pool with one or two saunas and... I know there's more saunas in the upstairs. Yeah, but we will not go there, no. We're just going to swim and chill a bit at the jacuzzi area. So we have our little like date night. How cute. We're both wearing our new clothes. And uh, yeah, after when we get back home, we are going to chill. chill on the couch, enjoy a movie, or order some food or eat some food. Depends. Our fridge is literally like empty, there is nothing. So, yeah, I guess I'm not sure how much I'm will be able to film from the inside. Go me, yeah. Depends how busy it will be. My cameraman will try to get catch some glimpses. With the Bruno in the, the cameraman. So see you at the swimming pool. Hello. Of course yesterday I was not allowed to film in the swimming pool. Um so yeah we just enjoyed the time. We didn't really go swimming because it was extremely cold and I was very disappointed at how low the temperature was turned in the public swimming pool but I guess I should have known because they did announce that but today is a new day it is Saturday and although the weather is outside is amazing and very summery and I'm definitely gonna go outside soon my battery died so here we are on my phone again I like I was saying I decided to use this opportunity of a free day and uh, Xava being at work to film a little bit of 
content for you. And I actually tried the 333 challenge. So that's going to be up next week. And uh, yeah, I hope you're going to check it out. And uh, I decided to try a new location out. So let me show you the chaos, like the setup here. Gorgeous. This is my, my YouTube dreams. This is what I've always wanted. But to get here is definitely a lot of work because this is actually our dining corner. And uh, yeah, let me show you the chaos that I created and I will now have to clean up for. So again, this is how the setup looks like. I brought this uh, rod and hang the clothes that I was trying on and I think the light also fits perfectly. I love our acoustic wall and this deco. Everything is very, very cute. But here is the reality. I had to put everything to the side. Here are other clothes that I was wearing. Shoes everywhere, clothes everywhere. And our dining table that I normally eat at is now totally in this corner. The chairs are behind there. Here's the ring light that I used. And uh, yeah, it is definitely chaotic. And unfortunately, I cannot keep this set up like this because, yeah, like I said, this is our dining area. So I will have to clean up and put it all together. And I will try to do it as quickly as possible so that I can go outside and enjoy the summery weather. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit once it's clean and let's see what I decide to do. Okay, so I am out, I cleaned up, I put laundry and now I can finally go and enjoy this sunny day. This literally I think like 25 degrees. And uh, since I don't have my car, I took out my old and trusted bicycle and uh, I am going to go to the nearest lake, the Gemmering Lake. And uh, I took my book with me, I have a blanket and I'm just going to enjoy a little picnic. I used to do that a lot last summer as well and yeah, on days where I'm not really meeting anyone I really enjoy going out in the weather, enjoying the sun, but at the same time still, you know, like having me time and I have my new cap on, I can finally wear my cute outfit and wait, let me show you the bicycle. Zaba did a little reparation last year so I have a new saddle. I also bought like this bag that fits perfectly with the style. I can add some new things here and I have new wheels and I think yeah, my bike is like very cute city bike. It's not very quick but I love it. I've had it for over 10 years now, almost 12 years, and this is still my most trusted bicycle and I wouldn't change it for anything. But I think now let's bike, it's around 20 minutes I think, so a little workout is also needed and I will show you around the lake, so I'll see you in a bit. Sunday and it is another beautiful day outside and I decided to try and wear my new hat because I bought it and I'm gonna be completely honest and say that I feel totally out of my comfort zone but I actually do think as an outfit as a whole it looks super cool I'm just not used to wearing such like out there outfits but I'm actually walking right now to uh, our other garage. Behind me you will see in a second that is Xava on his motorbike. And hello. Hello. And uh, yeah we are going to the other garage because I need a helmet. And uh, then we are going to drive on the motorbike to meet Xava's parents. And this is going to be the first motorbike ride this year 
at least for me, Xama has already driven. And I'm not the biggest motorbiking fan in general, but if we're just gonna go around the corner, I think it's quite nice. And in this weather, we kind of have to use this opportunity. Um, and we are going to have lunch at an Italian place. So that's also gonna be really, really nice. Now I kind of have to rush because we are a bit late. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's literally two minutes later and I already have an update. There will be no motorbike ride because the helmet was not in the other garage either and it's in Xava's car. And as I mentioned, Xava's car is in the garage in repairment. So <laughs> we can't ride, or he can, but I can't ride with him. So I'm walking back home and now we're picking up my car. And uh, yeah, now we actually really have to go because we are late. It's so annoying because I already would have worn actually a dress today. But since we are going with the motorbike, I thought a bit like pants, it would be better. So I couldn't use the opportunity to wear my summer dresses, sadly. But I don't have time to change anymore. So I guess I have to live with this outfit and yeah, let's go to the Italian place and have some lunch. Well, our lunch at the Italian was really, really nice. And now we are at Xava's parents' place and uh, he is helping to build up something in their room. And meanwhile, I can enjoy their garden, read my Kindle and uh, relax, enjoy the beautiful weather and the sun. And I think uh, this will take here a while and then we're gonna go home and relax. So this is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. This was a long one. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you again in my next vlogs. Bye bye.